was now 615. Let's get you caught up on weather now and traffic. Hey, Mary. What's it looking like out there? All right. Well, we are looking at dry conditions for the most part for the day. And then our next cold front moves in, and that will bring the return of the rain as we look to tonight. And we are looking at rain chances every single day as we head through the rest of our work week and into our weekend. So thankfully, we are catching that rain. And as we look to the next several days, and especially for Sunday into Monday with the powerful storm system, it could bring an end to our fire season. Fingers crossed on that. All right, here we go. A live look at San Francisco with those clouds in the sky. We're in the 40s and 50s this morning. 45 in Concord, Oakland at 50 as well as for San Francisco. 42 in Livermore, 47 in San Jose and down to 43 in Santa Rosa with dense fog down to about a quarter mile in Santa Rosa this morning. Here's what to expect. So as uh, we help you get ready for the day, we're looking at a break from the rain for most of the day with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. Rain returns tonight with with our next cold front that will bring widespread rain and more storms expected as we head through the week. Let's check out our rain chances in Santa Rosa and we are going to see uh, as we head through the next several days those rain chances of storm after storm for us. San Francisco you can see as well we're looking good. It's been quite some time since we have had rain every single day off and on over the next several days. So that storm door wide open for us finally. We're tracking this low pressure system that's going to drop a cold front our way and that'll bring widespread rain for us for tonight. So let's time it out for you, taking you hour by hour. You can see those clouds streaming in this afternoon. This is stopping the clock at 4 p.m. As we look to tonight, here we are at 8 p.m. That rain for the North Bay approaching the San Francisco area. As we head through 11 p.m., widespread rain all across our region. And then for tomorrow morning, still looking at wet weather. This is stopping the clock at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Still looking at showers for your Wednesday afternoon. And here we go as we look ahead to Thursday morning. It's going to be another wet commute, uh, morning commute there. We're looking at rain Friday into our weekend and also for early next week. Futurecast rainfall estimated totals. This is tonight through Wednesday night, and we are looking at anywhere from a tenth quarter to possibly as much as a half inch to an inch of rain. We're going to fast forward as we look ahead to the rest of our work week into our weekend, and this is actually through next Monday. Check it out. Anywhere from two to four inches of rain, even uh, as much as six inches of rain for Ben Lomans. So some impressive rainfall amounts with several storms that I'm tracking. Sunrise at 722 and our sunset at 626. So daytime highs for the coast looking at upper 50s, low 60s this afternoon. Below average for this time of year, Peninsula 67, San Mateo. For the South Bay, 68, Santa Clara, 69 for San Jose. Inland East Bay, 70, Concord, Pleasant Hill, upper 60s to low 70s for the Tri-Valley. As we look around the bay, 64 for you in San Francisco. Daily City at 60, 67 for Oakland and daytime highs in the mid 60s for the North Bay this afternoon. We're looking at 65 for Ukiah. Seven day forecast San Francisco, Oakland, and for San Jose. Rain arrives tonight into tomorrow. We have this rain chances Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the strongest storm looks to be Sunday into Monday. As we look to the inland East Bay, uh, we're going to see that rain tonight into tomorrow. The North Bay, you'll see that rain earlier this evening and as well as for the coast. So again, those rain chances every single day. And as we look to Sunday and Monday, all eyes on that as we could see an atmospheric river set up with heavy rain Sunday into Monday. All right, let's check.